What is going on, you Stark Raving Lunatics? Guys, we've got something important to go over because there's a lot happening in this ecosystem. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. I'm telling you right now, Luna Classic is probably preparing itself for what can only be described as an epic sort of run. It's very, very uh, important that you know that uh, and know that I have faith in all of the protocols that are here but let's kick this off and let's talk about what's going on first. All right, guys, if you see right here, you can listen. We're talking about Terra Casino for just a moment. Uh, guys, if you sign up over here at the link down in the description below, helps me out, helps continue to provide you with the information that you get on a daily basis to digest. <clears throat> but uh, you see here, there's Luna Classic, there's Luna, there's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, there's BUNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin, and there's more coming. Okay, so um, get excited because Terra Casino, I think, is going to expand the brand, if you will, and there might be a lot more options for you going forward. So uh, make sure you sign up for it today. Also, let me kind of swap through here. Uh, if you go to this, there's a sponsorship with Evolution Gaming right now, bet and win uh, 1.2 million euros. Uh, from September 2nd to uh, September 29th. Also, Pragmatic Play has helped to sponsor Terra Casino for a giveaway with a Mustang Gold giveaway from August 26th to September 30th. And finally, uh, the World Poker League Poker Knockout Tournament Series from uh, September 20 to December 22nd is giving away $2 million euros uh, through Terra Casino. Guys, this is a significant and incredible amount. Um, there, there's winning opportunities here, so make sure that you check it out. Also, uh, if you're not, go get you some of these meme coins off of TerraPort.Finance. Guys, uh, Juris Protocol, look, this is going to be the one that's, that this, there's there's times when you look at some of these and you're like, you know, I don't know if this is the thing for me, something like that. Juris Protocol is going to be the new anchor protocol uh, in this Luna Classic ecosystem, or at least intends to be. And it is worth the risk, in my opinion, to, to, to grab a bag of that. Also, uh, you've got a bunch of different other ones. Hamster Meme running pretty hard today. You've got Rocket uh, that's having a, a nice little run of it. Uh, there's the Boys token. Look, guys, there's a bunch of different tokens around here uh, for you to to trade so go check it out today now let's get into the news um, and i don't see anything that really resonates here with price action uh crypto news flash has an article that says terra classic upgrade vote sparks lunk and luna price rallies amid token burn anticipation and that is true but i don't think that's a very big deal i don't think that's um i i don't think that the upgrade is the the motivator there i think it's just basically the the additional burns uh but let's talk about tax to gas implementation now this is an important thing that came up on the commonwealth the community recognizes the significant progress of genuine labs has been made in designing the functioning tax to gas code and bringing it to the test net phase uh, the community also recognized that there are differences in opinion about how, how tax to gas could be implemented we understand that strathcole and frag are now engaged in constructive assistance with Genuine Labs to find a workable solution to address all remaining concerns and to bring tax to gas to the community at the earliest opportunity. This proposal supports the combined effort of our developers and feels that the work of Strath and Frag should be acknowledged and funded to encourage all parties to find a workable solution as soon as possible. The proposal seeks a community approval for a fixed budget of 3000 for uh, for each of Strath and Frag, total 6000 to be paid in the form of Lunk, provided tax to gas goes live on chain and works correctly before 6th October. October 2024. So within a month, they figure they're going to have it working and they're going to put up a vote for compensation for that uh, protocol. And I mean, guys, th these these are the things that you're supposed to pay for. You're supposed to pay for people's time and effort to promote your project. So Strathcoal, uh, I, I would encourage you to at least consider voting yes on this one. Uh, because I think it's important that we make sure that people understand that building in this ecosystem. Over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit. 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal. 
over here, uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option. And finally, and this is the big one, guys, I keep telling you this, it's the launch pool. Get into the launch pool, create a contract. I'm gonna make a new contract with six Ethereum right now. It's a bronze contract, profit sharing is 50-50. We're gonna do that right now. Done. All right, that's what we're doing. We've got a bunch of these set up. Remember this last one that I completed. Uh, I, look, I can't tell you how important it is for you to stake your crypto. You see the numbers right there. Start staking with cryptonomy.finance today um, is a helpful process and that we should reward those people who are builders. So hopefully that will pass. But again, that's gonna be up to you. Now, as far as meme coins go, uh, you can see here the bag is still sitting at about 1280 hasn't been a lot of move in the last bunch of days um uh, although boys continues to cook just a little bit it's a little bit higher a little bit higher a little bit higher every single day just continues to kind of rally over and over again and by the way uh in terraport in my staking uh, you can see here i'm still locked up for another two months so still continuing to earn that yield over there as far as galaxy station goes the upgrade to 3.1.5 did go through already made threshold um, integrated rule set for secure and inclusive Terra Classic L1 development. Uh, it seems like a mixed bag there so far. Uh, this was open access, open participation, governance, dynamic list management, uh, a lot of uh, frag. And look, it's the familiar faces, Genuine Labs, uh, Vin, Strath, Cole, Renzo, and Frag Verdict. Uh, these, are the, um, uh, these are the people. And then only governance past KYC. And of course, uh, the voting so far, 50% yes, 28% uh, no, 19% abstain. And if you want to go look and see what the, the, the voting is, then you can go through here uh, and see. And generally speaking, you know, most of these guys are going to, um, uh, Jesus said, Lord, no with veto. So uh, you can see how the voting is. And, um, you know, let's see how this ends up. Not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how it plays, but we'll see. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, there's nothing really there. Let's talk about price action real quick. Uh, the market down a little bit on the day, but I want to point out here that I think we should be encouraged by what I'm seeing on the chart. Let's bring it to the one hour in order to uh, come up with that. Now, let me zoom this around here uh, just a little bit. Uh, the encouraging thing, as you can see here, we're clearly minting higher lows. Now, uh, we're coming from a bottom, right? So we've reached a consolidation phase. And then what you see right here is we're getting lower over here. And that means that we're getting that pennant flag kind of playing out right now. With that being the case, it would be um, most likely what I would look for is a move into this range. Probably another retest back here at 83 after that. Another spike up to test because that's one test, uh, two tests. Now, you could argue that that was you know, an attempted breakout there, but let's just call that one test. Um, and then there was a second test over here, uh, you know, third test up here, maybe some confirmation, and then we break above 86, and then it's on to, in my opinion, about 95, 96, before settling back here at around 9,000. So uh, we are on the way up. It seems like we're in a pretty good situation right now um, overall. So I'm encouraged by what the chart is showing me. This is that breakout flag, right? So if that's the case, and in the event that the market bears it and we you know, continue to see some positivity, which I do think that the market is going to show some signs of positivity over the next few days. Remember, the U.S. is about to have rate cuts. I do think there's going to be a massive dump during the rate cuts. But then after that, we sh it should be uh, to the moon and beyond, if you will. October and November are coming. It's going to be the start of that bull run. We're getting into that phase finally so, uh, you know, let's see how this plays out, but I'm pretty encouraged by what I see. Also, not encouraged by the volume. Uh, the volume is about 14 million for the day. Again, most of it goes to Binance, who is whitelisted, so uh, no tax or anything like that's gonna be implemented on that. But we're up 1% on price action, about dead even with USTC, up 41% in price action though on USTC, which means that there's a lot of buying and selling back and forth right now, right now because there's no price movement. So this is just people dumping and pumping back and forth. So um, there you have it. That's your Friday update. Uh, I want to get out of here uh, just for you guys uh, be on vacation. I'll be off on Monday. So uh, I will see you guys on Tuesday. And remember, most of this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And uh, we will talk to you again very, very soon.